From DIY Musician, the, the CD Baby blog, um, pretty regularly, again, going back to just constantly learning and staying abreast on, you know, music tactics, marketing, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, read about, I uh, believe it was uh, Ty, Ty, Ty K and Shannon Curtis, um, how they've hit the Billboard chart. And I was reading, you know, what did they do to do it? Um, how did they think about it? And I remember with Shannon, it was something like it, it only took her 250 album sales to hit, like hit some part of Nielsen charts or something mm -hmm. like that. And then for, okay. for Ty, he set out to do a thousand or I don't, I don't remember if he said, I can't remember ex the exact number that he set out for, but um, you know, the results for him, how he hit the billboard chart. I was like, Oh, well, if that's what they did that, if that's what they did in order to do that, uh, me analyzing my fan base and analyzing what I was going to go for. I was like, I think I could do that. Uh, at least let me try. Um, and so, you know, convince my engineer, convince my producer, convince my wife, uh, let's try it. And um, that's what even like put into my mind that it could be a thing. By that point, it was November-ish, mid-November. Uh, and I set it for March. So I had about three I, I had this project for like three months uh and i decided to drop the reason why i chose march was because uh my mom's birthday is on march 21st and so when it dropped it would be on my mom's birthday um as a way to you know symbolically be like for her for my aunt etc gotcha. yeah. um so the first song that i dropped from the project was 515 and that's also when I started the um, pre-order campaign. And just even taking an additional step back, like how was I going to hit the billboard chart? Really the, the thing that I learned from those two articles, as well as just understanding how billboard works is that if you, basically your first week sales is your first week sales, plus everything that you've sold before the day of your release. And so the more that you've sold before the album drops, the more that gets added onto your first week sales. Right. Um, and so I was like, okay, well, if I have two months <laughs> to, to, you know, get where I need to go and, and, and not only uh, communicate this to my fan base, but also see if I can meet other people and build new fans and also tell them about what it is that I'm doing, which I, I did, right? Like I was going to Berkeley, I was talking to people in Portland and, you know, I'm connecting with, people that I know. And I'm like, Hey, you know, ask your friends, like convince them, et cetera. And there were some folks, man, like really out there, like recruiting their friends and being like, Hey, you know, my homie, like this dope artist, my brother, et cetera. Like, you know, I remember my sister, she was like every single day, like on social media at her job, you know, mm -hmm. on the subway, like just really pitching being like, Hey, help support this independent artist because his message is dope. Da, 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 da. Um, I will say that I think what helped for me, um, you know, one, the fact that the fan base already existed. Two, um, I thoroughly believe in the product that I put out. Like, you know, if you hear the lyrics, you, you definitely feel like you know who I am. Uh, and I really try to bring that level of, of authenticity and just the the, the experiences and perspective that I have into my music in a way where folks can really resonate with that. You know, I've had people, even before Airplane Mode, I've had people say, wow, your music really helps me, you know, get through my day. I've shared this with my uh, cousin who's contemplating suicide, like all these different things. So I was already like invested in the, the, the music and the product itself. And I, I'm very much like, yo, once you hear the product, like, you'll like it. You know what I mean? Just like taste and right, see that right, it's right. good. And then the rest will follow. So already had it and they were invested. Exactly. Right. And so it wasn't like I was trying to, you know, sell chicken nuggets and call it gourmet food. So I feel like the product really has to like stand on itself regardless. Yeah. Um, and yeah, in addition to, I mean, like I did do advertising, but not, not crazy. I mean, something like this to ask people in 2019 to spend money on an album 
it's not for the casual like observer. Like so, these were hard album sales. These, I didn't even, like, I didn't even, I didn't like even print CDs out not nah, like streams, not nah, like digital. Well, so I mean, digital CDs is like the the hardest of CDs in the U.S. <laughs> these that's yeah. just, that was hard. There there are some people that probably would they probably thought they considered themselves my like fan. Maybe they still do. Who knows? I'm not gonna judge them. But they were like, no, I don't, I don't want to buy the CD. And for <laughs> me, I was like, you know, it's less about the, the CD, right? Because you could still, you know, stream it, Apple Music, whatever, whatever. It was about the goal and, and what the goal entailed. And for, you know, my, my fans, my supporters, they understood that. And they were like, yeah, I'm willing to help you hit this goal. I, I, I want this artist to hit this goal. Not right. I'm buying this so that I can listen to the music. And I think when it comes to somebody that's like either a casual listener or like doesn't know you at all, like if you're a stranger and I'm like, yo, you know, the guy on Times Square, like trying to front off the CD, like, no, no one wants that. And like, if right, anything, right. they'll just stream it when it comes out. Um, right. So just even give people something to activate around and exactly. to rally around. Exactly. Another thing that uh, really helps. So that's why advertising, even though I did it, it did not help to sell the albums. It just helped create an awareness. Um, if anything, uh, especially due to the targeting, it was really just for my fans that already are aware of me so that they can, and, and, and then they're, you know, just their circles, just to keep them in that mindset that like, this is something that's taking place. These advertising, these advertisements wasn't for, um, like creating new fans to buy my album. Like that just doesn't even make sense. Like if it was an awareness campaign, it would be more like, you know, my music video dropped. Like yeah, just yeah, listen yeah. to that, right? Just be aware because people are gonna stream whatever. And then if they're really curious, then they'll see like, oh, there's a campaign going on. And mm -hmm. I would share on a daily basis, you know, hey, Sean, thank you for buying my, you know, pre-ordering my album, you know, and I'd call you out and every single time, right? And just create that proof that, yo, like people are actually out here doing this you've been following and you haven't done it yet why haven't you done it yet um right. and so that definitely happens uh that definitely helps uh and then another really big thing that helps two more things one was uh just like the 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 refollowings repostings my mind's everywhere yo it's after work <laughs> but uh, good. uh i had a i had a, a pre-release uh album Pre album Launch, release. Like the pre save. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pre, yeah. pre album release uh, party. Oh, party. And okay. Got in it. order to enter, you can either buy a ticket or you could pre order the album. Um, mm -hmm. And so there were some folks, there were actually some folks that I met um, that were my fans that I've never met before um, and came to the party, pre ordered in order to get to the party and, and you know, introduced themselves to me and was like, yo, like, I, I love your music. I'm so happy for you, da 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 Dope. That, like, blew my mind. But, there, you know, there were examples of those. And then also, like, you know, my fans and supporters coming through and then bringing their friends and their fans or, and, and their fam uh, to, to do the same thing. And, and I made it so that pre-ordering the album was cheaper than buying the ticket. So <laughs> it was kind of, it was just additional incentive, you know, to be like, yeah, but I, I want to see what this is about, right? Yeah, um, you got to make things make sense. So yeah. Thank you.